Shukran sana kwa kuendelea kuwa nasi karibu kwenye sehemu ya pili ya mizizi ya habari. Mojawapo ya ajenda nne kuu za Rais Uhuru Kenyatta ni utoaji wa huduma bora za afya kwa wote ili kutimiza ajenda hii serikali kuu ilitafuta msaada kutoka Cuba. Hivi karibuni madaktari moja waliwasili nchini kwa madhumuni ya kupiga jeki sekta ya afya. Lakini je, tangu walipowasili nchini kuna chochote ambacho kimeweza kutimizwa? Basi mwanahabari wetu wa afya Ouma Onyango amerejea kutoka Kisumu na anajibu swali hili pamoja na jinsi wakalimani wanavyosaidia katika sekta hii. Kuwasili kwa madaktari moja kutoka Cuba walioelekea katika kaunti zote 47 nchini kulikumbana na upinzani kutoka kwa madaktari wenza nchini wanasema kuwa kuja kwao kungekuwa na maana kuwa nafasi chache za madaktari ambazo zimo nchini zingekuisha the jobs were being given in the medical sector without giving the local doctors an opportunity to compete for the same jobs nobody made any effort to determine whether these doctors are available here or not Kwa upande mwingine serikali na ilitetea na bado inaendelea kushikilia tuwa hiyo, wakidae kuwa ni nguzo muhimu itakayo hakikisha kuwa afya kwa wote, ajenda moja kati ya zile nene za rais huru kinyata imetimia. There are people who give healthcare where the rubber touches the ground. And this is why the Cuban doctors are here. Because in Cuba, family medicine is fundamental to being qualified as a doctor. We want our health workers to begin with taking the family as the primary focus of reproduction ni miezi miwili tangu walipoelekea katika kaunti zote ikiwa ni pamoja na Kisumu ambayo ina wakazi wanaokadiriwa kuwa milioni moja nukta mbili. lakini je kuwasili kwa madaktari hawa kutoka Cuba kumeweza kupiga jeki sekta hii ambayo imekuwa na changamoto si haba kielelezo chetu ikiwa ni kaunti hii ambayo ina idadi kubwa ya magonjwa ya kuambukizana the burden has somehow reduced uh because of the amount of work that has gone on uh, one thing that is that continues to be a challenge right now is maternal child and adolescent health and where we have a very high maternal mortality rate kutana nae daktari ya hanandes mmoja wa daktari watatu waliopelekwa katika kaunti hii leo hii tunakutana nae katika pilka pilka zake za kila Ijumaa za kuzunguka katika zaanati na vituo vya afya katika kata ndogo ya Seme kutoka katika hospitali ya wilaya ya Kombewa ambako yeye huwa kuanzia Jumatatu hadi Alhamisi. I accustomed to, to, to work with the community with the patient visit uh, his house how he live what he eat uh, what she or he eat okay I hear he's only in the dispensary, in this hospital, he's not in the community. Ingawa na jaribu kadi ya wezo wake kuiga kila ambacho hamezo ya kufanya kule Cuba, bado haja fanikiwa. Ni bayana kuwa kuna changamoto si haba jinsi ya navu wasiliana na wenyeji hawa, ambao wamezo ya luga yao ya doluo, na ile ya kiswaili na ya kiwa na famu ki Hispania, japo anajaribu kuzungumza ki ingereza. Mama hui wa kijana mmoja nelewa bayana kuwa kwa kweli hii ni changamoto Hivyo basi ni furaha yake kumuhusisha Afli Nundu Mwenyeji wa kaunti hii Alia itimu kutoka Cuba na sayansi ya biologia Na kwa sasa ndiye nguzo kuu Anaishikilia ufanisi wa daktari huyu Anaitegewa na wenyeji hawa No, because she is here <laughs> for me the language barrier is not there because i can speak luo i can speak swahili i speak english and now i speak spanish and i can also speak french uende ukadhani uraisi wa jinsi anavyowasiliana na wenyeji hawa pamoja na daktari huyu na tabasamu yake ya kutuliza ndio anavyochapa kazi yake <laughs> ingawa alipenda kusoma na kujifunza lugha hakuwahi kujua kwa siku moja angeweza kuitegemea kwa kujikimu we were sent we were sent then to come back and help our people back in Kenya though what i'm doing now i didn't expect it because by then we didn't have interchanges whereby the cuban doctors were coming to Kenya though they go to other they used to go to other countries kazi ambayo sifa zake ni ustadi wa lugha uvumilivu kwa ugonjwa na kuelewa jinsi wanavyosema na usahihi wa kufikisha ujumbe jinsi mgonjwa alivyosema kwa daktari kosa lake basi linaweza kuwa na matokeo yasiyo ya kupendeza kwa maisha ya mgonjwa once they are given drugs they don't know what time to take the drugs 
we've had cases whereby a drug should be, be taken before eating they will use it after eating aida hernandez anasema kuzoea mazingira mapi ambayo haikuwa rahisi hapo mwanzoni si tatizo kubwa no it's like 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 cuba mm. it's the same, same. Mm. rice beans bread uh, butter um, potato sweet potato it's the same licha serikali kuweka mpango wa 2005 hadi 2010 wa kuhakikisha kuwa matibabu katika nguzo za chini daktari huyu mwenye tajriba ya zaidi ya miaka 14 katika daktari wa familia anadokeza kuwa bado kuna kazi ya kufanywa the way of thing of this of, of, of para decir la forma de pensar o sea lo que esperan de mi especialidad que no saben qué es médico de familia kule Cuba Hernandez anatuelezea kuwa wamezoea kutoa matibabu baada ya kukana mgonjwa mmoja kwa moja kwa takriban saa moja au hata zaidi lakini humu hilo haliwezekani kutokana na ukosefu wa muda na pia kuwa hawatembei nyumba hadi nyumba We had to get a, a name more friendly name because they couldn't pronounce my lean well or Hernandez so we decided on a name that is more comfortable Wenyeji katika eneo hili wakiwa na changamoto ya kulitamka vyema jina lake wakambandika jina lingine lilo rahisi kutamka labda kwa matarajio kuwa jina hilo lingemwezesha Hernandez kuelewa lahaja hiyo ya doluo. Ujio wa daktari Akinyu kiwapa matumaini wenyeji ambao wamepiga foleni tayari kupokea matibabu kutoka Cuba. Magonjo ya kumbukizana na pia majeraha bado yanasalia kuwa mzigo kwa wenyeji wa eneo hili anavyoteleza afisa mkuu wa kliniki ya hii ya Rodi Jacqueline Onyango is uh, malaria and uh, i'm happy because uh, we can test it we have uh, actually injuries because i don't know because of the geographical features of the area we can get clients having cut wounds here and there and again uh, another disease by them probably which is worldwide is uh, hiv kwa nchi ambayo bado inajitahidi kutokomeza ugonjwa wa malaria ugonjwa ambao ulitokomezwa kikamilifu zaidi ya miongo mitatu kule Cuba nchi ambayo bado inakabiliwa na vifo vya mama na watoto jambo waliweza kumaliza wana Cuba miaka 14 iliyopita nchi ambayo bado inashuhudia kuambukizana kwa virusi vya ukimwi kati ya mama na mtoto hali ambayo Cuba hawana kwa sasa Jacqueline anasema kuwa amejifunza mengi yatakayosaidia katika kazi yake katika eneo hili I learned a few things uh, depending on how Kenyan curative is done okay uh, that one maybe is on how you are handling the client from history and then of course uh, medication prescription kisomo iko mfano bora wa jinsi county zimejizatiti kupata tiba ya kikwazo cha lugha ambayo inaweza kuwa kizuizi cha ufanisi wa madaktari hawa wa Cuba nchini au oh, maonyango KUTV